This video reviews two sketching questions involving quadratics. In the first part, we're given an equation in which we have completed the square already. And we're asked to sketch the graph. Now, when you've got an equation in this form, this actually tells us where the bottom or the vertex of the graph is. Because this is basically a smiley face next squared graph, and the bottom of the graph is at a certain coordinate. The trick here to get the actual coordinate of the bottom of the graph is to change the sign of the number in the brackets, that becomes plus 2, and then keep the sign of the number at the end. So the coordinate of the bottom of the graph is at 2, comma, minus 3. So, Only a sketch, two across, three down. That is the coordinate of the bottom of the graph. So it's a smiley face which passes through that coordinate. The graph will look something like this. And just for completeness, we can also find the y-intercept. To do this, by the way, all you do is you square the number in the bracket, 2 squared is 4, take away 3 is 1, 2 squared, take away 3 equals 1. This is actually the value of the y-intercept. So this is the sketch of the graph. Now, in part B, we're given the graph, and we're told the two roots of the equation. And we're asked to find what the actual equation is. Now there's a big rule here, which is that if you know the solutions or the roots, x in this case is minus 3 and x equals minus 1, then I actually know what the equation is. And a bit like before where we changed the sign, if they're the roots or the solutions, then the equation must be of the form x plus 3 and x plus 1. I've changed the signs to get the factors. So therefore the graph must be of the form x plus 3, x plus 1. If I expand this out, I get the following. This is one more thing to be aware of before we finish the question. x squared, 3x, 1x and 3. So x squared plus 4x plus 3. However, this gives us the right roots, but the y-intercept here is 12. And this number here should give the y-intercept. We've got a 3 rather than a 12. So, to make the equation work, we have to scale this equation by a number to make it 12 rather than 3. So if I times the equation by 4, I get y equals... 4x squared plus 16x plus 12. And this equation has got the correct y-intercept, but it's also got the correct factors to give the correct roots. So the equation is y equals 4x squared plus 16x plus 12.